Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my YouTube channel Hazi Productions Today It's a pleasure to have an experiment On act osmosis Which is in reference to the biology subjects <coughs> And uh, In this act osmosis We're gonna use Eggs Okay And uh just to let you know, the osmosis is a special type of diffusion in which the water moves from an air which is uh, from a high water potential to the low water potential. X has some sort of a some sort of hard shell basically that's protected, but you want to deshell this thing by s so that the cell membrane can be exposed. So we'll need a substance for this stuff. Wait a sec. We have to of course know the materials first. The main material that we must need in the experiment is raw eggs. And we're going to use four eggs. And be careful. Your raw eggs may carry salmonella or a harmful bacteria. So make sure that you wash your hands after handling those eggs. And if we have four eggs, of course, we must have four cups and be ready to label the circumference and weight uh, depending on what your teacher assigned on. And yes, that's what to measure. Some circumferences may may reach point more than point five. For example, this cup you see, okay, it's thirteen point seven. Measuring tape is very important. The main factor is that it is flexible, enabling you to measure the circumference of the egg. You need vinegar. Why vinegar? Not orange juice or something. Vinegar is very acidic and is able to have a reaction easily with materials like this. This is calcium carbonate. Okay, now we're ready to put the eggs inside the cups. Egg egg we'll put in cafe. Okay, we're, get, we're gonna get ready to put the vinegar in. And we're gonna be saying Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, the chemical reaction. Okay. Don't drink this vinegar. Alright, basically we're gonna Pour the vinegar into the eggs, on into the cup, and uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, now you can already see it in this egg. It it may look ticklish, but I don't care anyway. You can see that there are some bubbles appearing. The carbon dioxide is basically wanted to get out from this vinegar. This kind of reaction is very slow. Let's look in more detail on how the eggs were deshelled. Basically, we have just placed the eggs in vinegar. Just to let you know that the egg or the shell of the egg is made of calcium carbonate. When the egg has been placed in vinegar, there's a chemical reaction in which the calcium carbonate dissolves in acids, like vinegar in this case. This process releases the gas of carbon dioxide. So that's why you can see the eggs floating during the reaction. After the shell has been dissolved, you can only see the membrane. And the membrane has been finally exposed. And now all four eggs are under soaking. And to complete this will take two full days. This is what you should look like after two days. Your vinegar must be a bit smelly. So maybe you gonna cover your nose maybe. And all four eggs have been finally deshelled. Now we have completed the pre-experiment. We still got more steps to go now. In which we have to complete the osmosis experiment on eggs. Just to let you know, the vinegar has a bit of water inside. 
so that water enters through some membrane via osmosis. Vinegar has a higher water potential than in the egg. So basically, the water enters the cell membrane and into the egg via osmosis. That's why the circumference of the egg increases. Once you have done washing your eggs and your cups, please make sure you wipe your cup because a few amounts of water is counted in your weight. Next, you want to put the egg with a zero gram. Okay, make sure it's level zero. Okay, you have to put the egg slowly just slide it inside okay it came to 72 grams now here's a bit tricky and it's very risky if you don't do so carefully the egg will break turn off the scale I'm not going to use the scale for now do this part instead you'll use Tape. Make sure you just do this well and careful. For careless mistake, you will break the cell membrane. Okay, you're going to just uh, basically give it a measure. Hey, hey we're gonna put water pure water all right for egg b you can see use salt water and we'll pour it inside so water is actually a concentrated solution there is a high amount of salt inside XC, we're going to use almost an equal amount like a salt solution. Uh, like an equal amount of salt solution. We're going to use an equal amount of sugar solution. I'll probably strain an XC. And lastly, for XD. In the manual, it says, depend on me, what liquid to choose. I choose food coloring, and I'm going to use green color, which is my favorite color. And uh, I'm going to pour my food coloring, basically, uh, into cup D. Yes, now we're doing the second soak for all four eggs. Okay, we're gonna re-soak this again for, for all 4x for two days again. So, we'll see what happens after two days. After two days of soaking in the four solutions that you've seen just now, this is the report. You may want to skim through the report as I scroll through. And here those the pictures that were taken during the experiment of egg osmosis. And thank you for watching the egg osmosis experiment and I hope 
hope you really enjoy my video on this experiment and if a teacher gave you an experiment like this it have to be done at home then you have watched the right video and thank you so much for your attention and as always thanks for watching